Hi friends, Linda here from my fantasy homestead. I have gone out to forage a bit today, see if the nettles are up, because I am thinking about making some fermented um, juice from... Oh, the tree has fallen. Look, it's fallen over the path. I'm thinking about making some... Whoop, and it's muddy and I'm slipping everywhere. <laughs> I'm thinking, back to the subject, of making fermented nettle juice. I saw Hugh Richards' video about fermenting because I've been interested in plant juices and making liquid fertilizers myself. But what kept me back was the smell because when you usually put it in, in the water, it smells quite some, quite a lot. But if you do, sorry, getting distracted everywhere. But if you do fermenting with sugar, then apparently there's no smell. I did a little batch last year and it worked really well. I'm out to see if I can get another one started just to give my plants a little boost in the beginning of their life. Look at them! They're just starting so they will have the most nutrients that they can have and I'll just take a little bit from here and then pop it in in the jars with sugar. Do you see how muddy it is? I need to go from there to there to get home. <laughs> this is going to be painful. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the gloves on and collect some nettles. While well, they're still dewy, dewy in the morning. Okay, I have taken my bits of stinging nettle and I have foraged and you can't even tell that I have foraged almost. Like there is so much. So one thing, forage respectfully and sustainably. Leave quite a lot. But I know that these stinging nettles will be dug up because this farmer plows this field every year and then the stingle nettles try to encroach and I was trying to take the stinging nettles from the edge where I know it's going to be ploughed and then leave the ones on the corner I do not know how to get through here wish me, wish me good luck because that sea <laughs> is the thing I need to cross I might actually go back up there and cross in the field. This path looked really nice and strong and it had grass on it and I was thinking yeah it's gonna be fine. No, no it's not. It's deceptive. It's very very wet and I keep sinking and I have another field to cross before I get on the, on the main road to go home. Oh boy. I need to keep an eye out for rocks as well because I need something to weigh down 
the concoction that I'm making. I can't see anything except for mud. Oh, this is tranquil. Look. Don't mind my hair. It's always like this in the wind. But there are no people. And there's no mud. So I just found the rocks I needed. I don't know if you can hear how windy it is. <laughs> oh. It's always like this. I'm gonna start crying soon. It's all in my eyes. Oh. Now I just need to get home. Really, really looking forward to having a cup of tea in the morning. My morning cup of tea and sitting down and processing this. I am home now and I have prepared my bowl. I have just boiled my rocks for 15 minutes and these are my nettles, 200 grams. I need to mix them up with brown sugar in consistency to four parts nettles, three parts brown sugar. And then you mix it up, put it in the jar, put the rock on top and then cover it with muslin or anything. I don't have anything like that. So I'm just gonna probably use one of my dishcloths. Well, I have like cloth ones. Oh, don't run away. Oh, okay. Let's start chopping these smaller so that they can release more juice. I always think that the young shoots of the plants have the most nutrients and the most juice because the plant is just preparing to release everything that they have and to give themselves the best chance of survival. Don't feel bad about it, you know, there were so many nettles and they will recover. They're very vigorous plant. And usually when I visit, after I have harvested for example nettles last year I did visit the site again and it had actually had shoots coming off from below and it had two ends instead of just one so where I had taken the end off it had divided I can feel myself being stung through two latex gloves so that's 200 grams of nettles and I need 150 grams of brown sugar for it and now we're just gonna mix it all together really well I am thinking about using this for my, my seedlings as soon as they come in. This should be ready in five to six days. And then I'm gonna need to dilute it to one against um, five, 500. It's starting to get that consistency where it's like mixed together. Like this. Okay, I think it's ready. Now we just need to pack it in the jar. And feel it tightly. Okay, that filled approximately half the jar. So I'm gonna make another another lot of this for probably another 100 grams of nettles, really fast. I'm making a mess here. <laughs> to squeeze 
squeezing 400 grams of nettles here <laughs> with 300 grams of sugar and it fit. This will reduce in size and it will keep going down in volume. I can already feel it going down. I can push a bit more. If I could get this stone in horizontally. There you go. Done. So I jammed a stone in like that. And now it will just keep applying pressure and pushing it down. I think the, the, the juices will start flowing in a couple of hours. So it looks like this. And it's really, really nice. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye friends! <laughs>